Welcome back, Sethling here. And today's command block contraption is all about slimes. So let's go ahead and spawn a few. Uh, basically, what I've done with command blocks is make slimes spontaneously split and merge with each other. So that one, we got a, a slime that just split. There's another one that splits. And when two slimes that are the same size get close to each other, uh, they will merge like we just saw there. And so let's add in a few more because the more there are, the, the more often they'll merge and split and stuff. Getting a lot of big slimes. Um, and so when, when two slimes that are the same size merge, they become a slime of the next size up. And when they split, they go from being one slime to two slimes of the next size down. And so <laughs> that's pretty much how it works. And the reason that I was doing this was to try and make a lava lamp. And so we'll go over here and I'll show you what I did. I don't think it works very well. Uh, it works okay, but there is a problem. And let's see. Uh, summon a slime about 10 blocks below my feet. Okay, so we got a slime there. He starts floating up to the surface and over time he's going to start, well he might, this one might split actually because this is a bigger one. No, he starts sinking here. So well he started sinking for a second and then he turned into smaller ones. These guys are going to start sinking. Basically whenever a slime splits it starts floating and when it hasn't split for a while it starts sinking. And so these guys can never split because they're already the smallest size. So they'll start sinking. And okay, but, and then they might merge eventually and then they'll start floating again, I think. Anyway, let's let's summon some more slimes. It turns out that this, this whole system actually works out okay. Uh, it actually looks kind of like a lava lamp, you know, where you have that wax stuff constantly splitting and merging because it's kind of a liquid but it likes to be next to other wax, and so it kind of merges with other wax sometimes, but they're of different temperatures, and they split, and sometimes they sink, and sometimes they rise. Let's add even more. I want way more than this. Um, but there is a problem, and the problem comes basically when two slimes merge, and they're at the top of the lava lamp here, because when two slimes merge, they become a slime of the next size up. All right, that should be pretty good. And when they become a slime of the next size up, that slime can actually kind of um, clip into the walls and sometimes the slimes will actually escape from the lava lamp, which obviously that's not something you want in a lava lamp. But let's see, we have some stuff that's floating, some stuff that's sinking. Here we get new stuff floating, new stuff sinking. And yeah, I mean, it doesn't quite look like a lava lamp, obviously. Lava lamps have a very fluid behavior to them, but you get sort of the same idea where you have pieces that are constantly merging and splitting from each other and rising and falling. I think I need more pieces so that there's more merging happening in order for it to look a little bit better. So let's add a few more. I'm just kind of moving around as I do it so that things won't merge instantaneously. And then let's take a look. Just watch it for a few seconds. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks it looks kind of pleasing. I wish the water was a little bit more transparent so we could see these things a little bit better. But the water is definitely necessary so that things can float and things can sink. Yeah, well, it's nice that none, none, of, the, <laughs> that none of the slimes have escaped from the lava lamp. Definitely in my testing, they did a lot, but that was probably over longer periods of time and probably also with more slimes in there. But that's kind of the lava lamp effect that I was going for. So I'm glad I could show you in a video, <laughs> but it's kind of a cool, cool idea. I think there's a good reason why they don't, uh, you know, merge in, in the game. Um, because if you have like, uh, let's, let me grab a sword. Well, you, you could maybe make it work if, well, okay. So when I kill this slime, several slimes will pop out. It could be up to four. Um, in this case, I don't think I actually killed that one. Let's try killing this one. <laughs> okay. I... <laughs> Don't know if I killed that one either. The problem is they have a lot of hit points when they're big. Okay, how about this? I'll kill a smaller one. <laughs> and then it, it can turn into four, and then those can merge with each other. And so you end up with kind of more slime mass. And so you'd have to, in order for this to really work in the, in the vanilla game, you would have to have only two slimes pop out when a slime dies. Otherwise, you end up with just more and more slimes all the time. Also, resetting their hit points. It's not really balanced for the vanilla game. Mostly I just did it because I wanted to make a lava lamp, which I, I don't know, kind of succeeded in, I guess. <laughs> anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching.